suppose my typical training day diet, I'm a teacher, so I'm lucky enough that I kind of have a, a consistent day ahead of me and, and a structured day. So in the morning time, I'd always have my bowl of porridge with some sliced banana in it before I go to school. Um, at break time then, around 11 o'clock, I'd always have a banana, an apple, and maybe some protein balls that I would have made myself um, at home at the weekends. Um, after school then is when I'd have my, my pre-match meal, we'll say at four o'clock, because training is usually scheduled for seven, quarter past seven, and that's when I'd have my, my, my high-carb diet. On a training day, I'd probably eat up to four or five times a day, just with different snacks. Um, I suppose I'd always have cashew nuts, Brazil nuts kind of on the go. When you are commuting in the car, it's important to, to have snacks with you. Um, what I eat on the day of a match, it doesn't differ too much from what I'd eat on the day of training. Probably the biggest difference is a match, if it's on a Sunday, it's usually at two o'clock and it's a little bit hard maybe to get your, your meals in. So what I'd do is maybe have two breakfasts and I'd get up early and have porridge or cereal and then maybe closer to the time, maybe two or three hours, probably about three hours before the match, I'd have scrambled egg and toast just before I leave the house. Um, then after the match, it's so important to get something in straight away and usually we're eating with the team so it's usually pasta based or rice based dish and, and with your chicken and your meat in it. So again, w when eating for match day, it depends what time the match is. If it was an evening match, um, I would try to eat as many main meals as possible. So hopefully get my breakfast, lunch and an evening dinner in before, the, before I head off to the match and then it'd be snacks in between. So if I know it's going, well, most matches will be tough, I might have my largest meal at, at one o'clock in the day and then something smaller or closer to the time, like a sandwich about two, two or three hours before I head off. And then my snacks in between, which is always fruit or yogurts. Um, again, it'd vary a wee bit from non-training days and match days. Um, again, you'd be eating more more in bulk. Um, so you'd be having bigger portions of foods rather than sort of spreading them out throughout the day. Um, again, there's no real time limit as to when you can eat your foods when you have no training or whatever. So whenever it suits you, I suppose you can eat it. That's a big advantage. Whereas when you're playing football or whatever, you have to eat maybe two or three hours before a match or whatever. But um, you're just eating sort of larger, larger quantities of food um, when you have no training and just stocking up, stocking up on all the sources and the carbs and stuff like that. Uh, probably typical training day, you probably get breakfast in the morning at maybe seven, half seven, and usually be porridge and with some mixed nuts, uh, a bit of fruit as well, some grapes, blueberries, raspberries, and maybe a banana as well. And um, then after that, uh, probably because I'm a teacher, you have a bit of routine. So at 10 o'clock, maybe uh, a cup of tea and a fulfilled bar, uh, a Glenisk yogurt and some fruit as well. And then lunch could vary and um, you could bring, because it'd be a training day, you'd probably get some carbs in. So chicken and some pasta um, and then maybe try and get a light snack in again before training, a couple of hours beforehand and then we get food dinner after training so that could be anything from lasagna uh, chicken curry after training <laughs>